Hi, and welcome to the Senior Network. I'm your host, Greg Fulton. Today, we're joined by Jim Keith, Keith's Funeral Home, and Becky Davis, the Cypress of Hilton Head. Thank you Good so to much see for you. having and me. And we're again. actually at Elder Law and Estate Planning Center in Bluffton. First time mm -hmm. I've been here. Mm -hmm. nice, nice place. Very nice. Conversation we had earlier about doing business local and all the resources that we have. Jim, tell us a little bit about that conversation. Well, I think what we were talking about before was how um, uh, beneficial it is for everybody in the area to have all the great resources locally. You have the art centers, you have sure. the stuff, and the, for the seniors, you have the great places like the Cypress is a, is a great place. I mean, Perfect. one of the premier places on the island or even in the low country where you can go. And then you have uh, elder care. You have people that can come and make arrangements with uh, attorneys that have been doing this for years. You can go to a play or an arts festival. The the medical stuff around here is great, and you know I don't yeah. want to say about the funeral homes. We'll but go ahead. All right. Yeah. Well, the funeral homes. We'll twist your farm. That is why you're here. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm sorry. <laughs> But uh, you know, having a nice locally owned funeral home, we're the only locally owned funeral home on the island, which is really, you know, that's really nice. And then people like to to uh, buy and serve uh, local, and, and it's nice. And you know, the nice thing about having a local business is the money goes back into the community. Oh, sure. And uh, just for example, I was just talking to my wife. We were just kind of going over some things that we were doing, and in just the last uh, four or five months, uh, we've been able to donate to the Alzheimer's. Uh, to Camp Leo, to Hilton Head Lacrosse, um, to Knights of Columbus, and this is all because your business has grown so much, right? Yeah, well, yeah. exactly. I mean, you want to give back, and you know, we serve the people we give to, and, yeah. and it makes a difference. Believe me, yeah, it does. I know you know this better than we do. With the Cypress, it's just a gorgeous place to have on Hilton Head. I know it's known all throughout the whole country. I do know that. Well, yeah, we've yeah. won many awards for, you know, our land plan and the services that we provide, but also, too, to your point about giving back, you know, to the community, you know, it's so neat about these kind of conversations that start so organically, right. you know, when we're saying, oh, yeah, I yeah. shop local, and I wish I would have done my research before I arrived today, but the Cypress is either the second or the third largest employer in Hilton Head. Yeah. And and I wish I had my facts straight right. on that, but so but think what that does. I mean, right. we are employing. I know we have 360 uh, full time and part time employees, right. um, and you know that just it just trickles down to um, other services that are provided. Um, sure. What gives back to the community. Um, in addition to that, you have to think about all the vendors that we. Um, that, that we right. hire yeah. to, as far mm -hmm. as food and landscaping. Yeah. I'm not the 360 doesn't include the landscapers. Right. So and then the, and then, and also additional maintenance that comes onto the campus. So um, yeah, it does. It, yeah, it really helps our economy, doesn't it? It does. And you were really excited when we arrived this morning talking about the open house. We had a great open house recently. Um, we. Um, um, welcomed a little under 300 mem wow. or 300 guests, right. and we had the pr we had 13 accommodations on tour, and the question was, oh, are these all available for sale? No, these are people's homes when they're they're being right. nice to put their houses on tour, but it is an opportunity to build our wait list, which which we really count on. Sure. Yeah, so we have about uh, over 200 folks on our wait list. So when we do have an availability, we can list and sell it within a very reasonable amount of time. Exactly. Now, Jim, because I know you do a lot of business, obviously, on the island and Bluffton too, right? Sure. Yeah, and there's, um, you know, there's so many new, we just talked about the assisted livings and facilities coming in because of the aging population. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing, are there any more funeral homes coming to the area that you know of? Not that I know of. I, you know, one of the things that keeps funeral homes away from coming in here is the high cremation rate. And, you know, in the old days, funeral homes wanted to bury everybody because they made a bunch of money. And, that, and let's face it, that's what they were in business for. And now, you know, we're more about service. Uh, we go out to Sun City a lot and make arrangements at people's homes. Even though we're on the south end of the island, I'm going to say maybe half of my arrangements are made in people's homes where they never even come into the funeral home. I just show nice. up and... You know, we go over everything and we write everything down and find out what they want and never leave their kitchen table or their couch. And it looks, it was good. And I got to say this, I want to say yeah. this about the Cypress. I did a, um, I did a seminar back, I want to say in April or May at the Cypress. And we had about 35 people there 
And some of the best questions, they were like the most educated oh, people. Absolutely. They were asking right. yeah. questions. That I was like, oh boy, I better make sure I nail this because they know the answer oh, already. they're planners. I yeah. mean, that's why, yeah. they're, that's, that's why they're at the Cypress. They are planning for the future. And, um, and apparently we're all going to die yeah. at some point and we all have to plan for it. So um, that's, yeah, they're great group of folks at the Cypress. Well, I think you really nailed it. They're planned for it. I know that's what we do a lot on the show is try to get people to be proactive exactly. about all of these services. Oh, you know? and isn't it the truth? And I, we say we're moving to the Cypress five years earlier than five minutes too late. And it's those people who wait five minutes too late that make me so sad. Yeah. I'm like, you know, if you just would have made this decision a year earlier, um, um, you, you could be accepted into independent living. However, fortunately, going back to being local, we have, you know, so folks um, cannot meet our independent living right. requirements. We have lots of assisted living, and then we have home health care services where the care For comes sure. to you, assistance in the home. So again, in keeping it local, at least we have a very, we have lots of layers uh, to assist people, soft place to land on Hilton Head. Continuum of care, correct? Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Exactly. And there's not a lot of those around. I mean, it's probably, what, two or three in the whole area, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. And, and uh, actually, the ironic thing is only 3% of the communities in the United States are an equity model, like the Cypress, where you actually own your own home. So at that point, families are allowed, they can actually pass that on or sell uh -huh. it. Yes, yeah. sell it. Or they Great. Well, hold the thought. Okay. We're out of time. We need to take a break. Stay with us here on the Senior Network. We'll be right back.